Hello everyone, welcome to more Soul Play. This is an exciting clip that I put together from a recent Soul Play group session. It ended up being me and two others. It was just a small little group and uh, my guide said, make this really casual and simple. And so instead of really kind of plugging away at different formulas, I was really sitting down with these two beautiful people who have some great insight to share. One of them is a channeler who channels a entity called Edward, and he actually teaches entities or spirits or other uh, entities uh, to actually become channeled companions to people, if that makes any sense, because the world is opening up in dramatic ways now, and there are there's a lot of need for uh, people who are reaching out and wanting to become a channeler, right? And so I asked her or Edward to share some information on people who are wanting or desiring to channel in their life. And you will listen and you'll hear some perspective on his side of what's important for people to be able to channel and connect in. And also, I want you to really think into this idea of fear. Fear is one of those blockages that really holds us up in life in general in general, in us being able to experience our expansive self, in us being able to even feel peace in the world and bring peace into the world. And this is a key component, really, as we open up into our multidimensionality. People talk about, we're opening into a new earth, and I want it to look this way, but really, we have to do the work of knowing how to let go of fear or recognize and see what it is for itself and letting go and stepping into oneness through our choice, right? And this is a choice, but also it's something that we can really reach deeply into ourselves and experience, experiencing this oneness that we are. So I know if, if you are really challenged by this idea of fear or anxiety has been crippling you and you really want to feel this connection, I'd love for you to stick around and we'll talk more and more about it. And also I suggest for you to check out my um, my 100 days of meditation. Uh, um, yeah, whatever that is. Below, you'll find a link to uh, a group, a playlist, 100 Days of Meditation. Now, this is uh, something that I recorded way back when near the beginning of me starting my channeling. And the quality is not that great, but I talk a lot about this oneness and this feeling of oneness. Um, and it's really a beautiful resource for you. And my talks also below about everyday oneness will be really crucial and can be really crucial for you. And of course, if you're excited about what you see here, please feel free to click on the link below and join me in a session of Soul Play. Or also, if you're wanting to channel, there's also channeling support group session. I offer both at a free rate, and then I do offer other classes at a cost or a donation base. So all of that is available to you if you're interested in moving forward and really owning your life. All right, here we go. We're gonna hear um, we're gonna hear what Edward says about preparing for channeling. And I was curious though, um, Maureen, for you yesterday, I had a question for Edward, kind of talking about. Um, I was wondering if he wanted to share something about how people on earth can prepare for channeling, if that makes any sense. Like what are, what are some easy steps if that could say that will help ease them into channeling if they, if that's their desire. Well, he's here, but I won't have him come to me. I'll just listen to what he has to say. Yeah. Um, first of all, you have to not be afraid. Mm -hmm. Too many people are afraid that when they start channeling, the other entity will take them over yeah. mm -hmm. or that they'll act like a fool or they'll be weird or something 
um, that they're very sensitive about. And there's no such thing. You'll always be yourself. You're physically not going to change. You know, television has made things so bad that we think if we get involved with something, we physically change. We don't. And the entities are always friendly. They're always, they're here to help. Mm -hmm. And I helped two of Peter's people. They, they, I didn't help them that much, but they were both very, they were, they were there, but they were frightened to actually step in to that room where the entity was. And I said, stop being afraid. The mm -hmm. entities aren't going to hurt you. They're here to help. So after that, I don't know ever what happened to them. Mm -hmm. So that's, there's a couple, stop being afraid, stop challenging everything. Mm -hmm. When you challenge things, it actually is a form of fear and it is a form of blocking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you actually hear a voice, doesn't matter where it is or what it is, and you just relax, listen mm -hmm. to the voice and see what happens. Mm -hmm. But people who actually can get deep into challenging or to channeling, excuse me, they actually welcome the entity and they're not afraid and they don't want to challenge anything because there's nothing to challenge. Yeah. And so you just, you just relax and let it be. And, um, let it in what is coming. If if mm. you feel that you want to speak up, I know someone I helped and she kept going, uh, 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 and I said, just relax, just relax. Mm. We're trying to figure out your language and you're trying to, to balance each other. And first, finally, she got some words out and then she got some more words and she said, oh, once I actually started to let the words come, it wasn't so hard. Yes. Mm. And I said, yeah, because you're, you're, it's something new and you don't know how, you don't know what to do with it. Right. And um, you just have, to, it's it's just a total relax and it's trust. That's that's what he, it's trust. You must trust yourself and you must trust the entity. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people yeah. don't trust. A lot of people in a marriage, they don't trust. In neighbors, relatives, they don't trust. Just trust mm -hmm these entities because they're here to help mm -hmm. and once you can get rid of the fear and you get into the trust and you get rid of the challenging of it you just sit quiet and say come on okay i'll have yeah. a conversation and the thing that you have to realize this becomes a partnership yeah. it's not them way out there and you here they are them when they're and once they attach to you and you understand them and you can let them in. It's it's forever until mm -hmm. you ask them to totally leave. It's forever, and yes, they're like a guide, in a way, not quite the same as your other guides, but you sometimes you can just stop and relax. What do I do? Mm -hmm. You may get a message, you may not. Yeah, it's not a big deal. When I put something down now, and I can't remember why I put it, I used to just have a fit. Now I go. Eh! It'll turn up. And I walk away. And sure enough, it turns up. So it's the same thing. Yeah. So those are probably are the three or four basic things that he was telling me about. Yeah. Um, letting go. Yeah. And I think if people have, it, it, if they're having trouble doing it, asking those questions, am I having trouble trusting? What What is my fear? How can I, how can I uh, release that fear? How can I walk more into trust? And that might be even a question they can ask for a guide for, say, can someone help me learn or know how to open to trust more? Like, mm -hmm. right. Well, fear is something that you have to dig deep inside to say, what's going on? Am I really afraid? Because we hide fear very very strongly we hide it so we yeah. don't want anybody to know we're afraid okay mm -hmm. well there's different levels of fear if somebody's got a gun pointed to your head that mm -hmm. that's a real fear unless you decide to say well if i'm gonna die i'll just go to the other side i'm fine mm -hmm. or you can just panic to death and maybe have a heart attack and go that way but if if you're late to an appointment that's a fear 
Yeah. Just sit quietly and go, okay, I'll get there. I'll get there on time. The traffic will lighten up. It'll be good. And sure enough, when you get to that appointment, either they're behind, which is most of the time, or you get there on time. Yep. So there's many levels of fear. You should yeah. talk to my mom, Maureen. <laughs> but there are, and you have to decide what kind. You sit down. Oh, I can't channel. I want to, but I can't. Okay, what's the fear? How yeah. deep is it? What, yeah. I, what am I afraid of? And so many people cannot go there and relate to that. They can't answer themselves. Mm, yeah. Those are those are really good thoughts. Uh, fear is something I think a lot of people could spend a lot of time with understanding. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've, I've dived deep. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, I'm in the process of really recognizing when I'm in this space of unknowing and, and how I want to grasp for some kind of answer. And that's a part of the fear. Mm -hmm. That's that's the basis of it for me. And so being able to recognize when I'm in that space and how I do have a choice that I can turn to love, you know, even in that unknown space at any time, you know, it's a true practice. It's a real true practice. It is. It is. And some of the fear, if you can get deep enough and quiet enough with yourself, Mm -hmm. Ask if this is from a past life. Mm -hmm. Like people who don't like to walk across bridges, they're scared. They were probably thrown off a bridge in a past life. Yeah. Well, they have a choice. Do I run back home or do I actually say that's this life? It's not going to happen yeah. this life. Let's walk across the bridge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I totally understand how they feel. I mean, just like me tossed out of a window, you know, of a high rise. I don't know how many high rises they had, but you know, it's, it's, it yeah. comes with you. It yeah. comes with you. So you have to go, okay, I'm afraid of that, but why? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't want to let that go because that's who I am. I can deal with it now that I know what it is. Okay. I don't need the fear, but I like hanging on to, oh, what's another word for fear? Uh, they, they like hanging on to feeling safe if they don't do it. Yeah, that's okay, because they'll work through it.